Underground fuel tanks need periodic maintenance for cleaning the internal surfaces from material sediment and encrustations. Gerato Federico SRL has designed a complete system for cleaning these dangerous and confined spaces, avoiding man entry. We're talking about the explosion-proof robot named Fuel Tank Cleaning No Man Entry, complete with power pack and video inspection system. The whole system is compact, easy to transport, and suitable for cleaning every type of tank. The components are brought on the site and the power pack is connected to the robot with quick connectors. The FTC is a pneumatic machine suitable for working in potentially explosive atmospheres. For enhanced security, the machine can be started up only after the connection of the grounding system. The power pack is then switched on and the grounding is activated. Now it is possible for the operator to turn on the radio remote control to move the robot from a safe distance. All the working parameters can be constantly monitored on the power pack and the PLC allows the operator to control all functions and potential anomalies. All the functions of the robot can be controlled from the radio remote control. The lifting up of the tower the extension of the telescopic arm, the activation of the high-pressure water nozzles, which are placed both on the upper part of the tower and on the lower part of the robot. Here, there is also the suction nozzle for the aspiration of sludge and debris. The upper nozzles can be oriented laterally or frontally, and the circular movement allows the water jet to reach all the surfaces of the tank. An explosion-proof touchscreen monitor is connected to an explosion-proof camera to allow the operator to maneuver the robot from outside. A vacuum truck provides the FTC with high-pressure water for washing the tank and at the same time it sucks up the material. Thanks to its tracks, the FTC can easily move over obstacles that can be found in the tank. The robot is secured to a stainless steel rope and lowered in the tank through the manhole using a tripod with a winch installed on it. Once the robot reaches the bottom, a camera with integrated LED lights is fixed to the entrance for remotely controlling the robot. The operator can safely watch the operations through the screen and videos can be recorded on a USB flash drive for documentation. The first phase is to suck up the debris right under the manhole to facilitate the movements of the robot. As the FTC moves forward, the aspiration of the material contributes to keep the tracks clean. Then, depending on the thickness of the sediment, it is possible to spray a chemical solvent to simplify the removal of oily substances from the surfaces. This function can be activated from the remote control. At this point, the rotating nozzles can be activated from the remote control to wash the tank with high-pressure water. The effluent on the bottom is sucked up from the lower suction nozzle and collected in the vacuum truck container for disposal. At the end of operations, the FTC is closed and taken out of the tank. Then it is cleaned following specific procedures appropriate for the working environment.